These gun-waving girls caused panic on Dale Street in Manchester last year. Terrified observers thought they were real guns, but they were in fact replicas and the teenagers were cautioned by police. It highlights how realistic and intimidating replica weapons can be and while it's not against the law to buy one, it is against the law to brandish one in public. Street pastor Tony Winter says gun hand-ins are a good idea but says more needs to be done to discourage the fashion for fake firearms. Do we next have uh, Uzi submachine replicas in, in the hands of 10-year-olds who pull the hoods up and, and, and about 5 foot 8 and could look any age? During a gun hand-in, weapons can be forensically tested and linked to crime, whereas during an amnesty, no questions are asked. So is a criminal really going to hand over a weapon that can connect them to crime? They do work in communities. I mean, we've, we've seen that happen um, for instance, Peace Week um, about a year ago, we had a little uh, local uh, gun hand in and, and weapons were handed in. Simple as that, and were taken off the street, so the facts are that they do work. The gun handing coincides with Peace Week when victims are remembered. Statistics do show gun crime is decreasing, but the growth of replica weapons is a continuing battle. Almost as if uh, the idea is to make them look... Uh, indistinguishable from a real firearm and then of course um, with life and death issues around real firearms uh, the problems can can escalate and become you know um, lethal so if you have a replica weapon such as a bb gun hanging around the house and you're worried it could get into the wrong hands then you are being urged to drop them into any greater manchester police station beverly walkden for channel m news